We're backstage, Wemf, Jello, in the trailer, a whole bunch of other guys just hanging out after your set. How was your set? I had fun, wicked set, good time, good people. I normally actually play Saturday nights, the last, uh, I think like the last four years or five years that I've done Wemf. No, uh, they moved you, I'm assuming, to Friday just because you got a harder feel. What would you describe your music as? Um, well, I asked, like I said, I, I asked, I asked to do Fridays because I, I've done Saturdays predominantly at at Wemf, and I wanted to be, I wanted to be, like I said, I wanted to be involved in the, the the beginning of the party, the starting stages, rather than the middle or end stages as I've normally done. Because I think that while the energy is still there, it's not as strong. I wanted to be more into the construction, the building, the essence of the beginning of what was going to happen, rather than you know, than coming into it while everyone else is already given. Anything new that you have uh, coming out? Are you going to produce yourself, or is that something? Like you're looking forward to. I've actually I've, I put out like I think like 21 or 21 two, or 22 singles right now, and I record for different labels like Two Wars, and Bug Eyed Records, Free Records in Seattle, Function Recordings out of Chicago. Uh, I'm going to be doing some some remix stuff coming up for some for some other some other labels. I, I don't really again you know. It's not that I don't I don't believe in allegiances or, or sticking with one thing. I mean, I, I do work a lot with Bug Guide and I do work a lot with Two Words, and I know the guys that run the label, and they're, and they're wicked guys. But at the same time, I want to I want to do as much as I can, I, and I want to keep doing it. You know, I don't want to I don't want to do what I'm doing next year, what I was doing this year. Change it up all the time. I like to change it up. I'm into change, and change is good. You know, and it's it really is all about evolution. You know, if you think back, you know, to the beginning of whatever rave mythos existed, you know, historically will show people. The vibe, the whole element of the vibe was all about, you know, new things, having something new and change, you know, which is why I always, I, I laugh sometimes, like old school is good and old school does have the time and place, but just strictly old school is, is what, you know, which is, which is, you know, this is about the future, you know, this is about change, this is about advancing things, so, you know, some people don't have the same ideology as you have or I have, and and it's and, you know and not everyone's going to agree with that that type of sentiment too. But this is this is all about change. This is all about being forward. All of this, all of it is the music, the DJing, the production, the parties, everything. You know, I mean, rave is done. Rave is done, and that's and that's fine. That's fine. You know, and and at the same time, there's. It's hard to explain to people who might just be getting involved now or a year ago or two years ago what was happening eight years ago, you know? And even, you know, like nine years ago when I really first started really getting heavy into it and DJing and stuff, you know, how what I was doing then and the, and the parties that I was doing then are way different than what's going on now. And, and yeah, it's all in clubs now. Yeah, you know, it's all about finding a really cool club and, and having an atmosphere that's, you know, conducive to positivity and change in a forward-thinking environment, you know, which is different than your pop-hop and R&B club. And what's the future for Rave? I think the future of Rave is probably stuff like WEMF. You know, uh, events that happen not so often, maybe once a year. Maybe bigger events that a lot of people come out. I hear there's already like 35 pe 3,500 people here tonight. I'm pretty sure they're going to get another 2,000, 2,500 tomorrow. You got 6,000 people descending in on an area for a couple of days who are all, you know, like-minded and looking towards, you know, accomplishing the same goals and getting involved with the same product. The future, the future is is evolution. I'm not quite sure where it's going to go. It cannot stay in clubs forever, but at the same time, it cannot go back to what it was. And why should it? We already did that. And even if you're just getting involved now and you saw the tail end of it and it's over, well, that's cool. Be 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 part. You know, be excited. Don't don't complain about what you missed. You know, be excited about what's to come. You know, and that's that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. What's to come? Because the future is always exciting, and change is hard to accept. People have a tough time with change. You know, they have a tough time with change. People have a tough time accepting change because they're so used to what's going on. And this is working and this is great. And I don't want to do what, the, what that is. I want to do what that was, you know? Forward thinking. Think I thought of getting into politics? Yeah, no, I, I think I'm going to stick with the music for a bit. <laughs> now, uh, quickly, before you mentioned uh, Pride, how important is something like that to the music scene and to Toronto? Uh, very important because, you know, that now, same thing as radio where, you know, you're exposing a whole bunch of people to a bunch of different things. Pride does that because, you know, in that crowd, you know, you can only anticipate, you know, like, when people talk about a good mix or a DJ who's train wrecked or blew a mix or, or whatever else you want to say about someone who didn't have the greatest set in the world, you know, 
there's 10 people, 10% 10 of that crowd in the club knows exactly what's going on that are clued up. To the rest of the people that are there, they don't know. That's why there's lots of DJs without giving names away, big DJs, popular DJs, who aren't, you know, they're not mix masters. Maybe they don't even program a good set. Who knows what's up? But the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, they're there because people are moving to them. And provided somebody's moving, that's all that matters. Technical skills are relevant. Now, with that being said, technical skill is important to me. But, but the ratio, I guess the, the understanding of that, you know, might not be reflective to everyone's opinion. And when, when the average person goes out, they want to have fun. So that is, that is the judgment of a good set, if somebody is having fun. I've digressed like a mofo here. What was the original question? I was leading to something. How important was pride to Toronto and the right. music? So, so you're, that's it, yeah, thanks. You're exposing a bunch of new people who have no idea what the heck is going on, but they see it and they see a large group of people getting involved and enjoying it, and it's easy for them to get involved too because, listen, let, let's face facts, we're, we're all sheep, so we see something going on and it's, it's really cool, it's really positive, that you want to be part of it too. So if you show up to a huge environment and you see tens of thousands of people going off to something, even if you're not into it, the likelihood of you wanting to get involved is high. The likelihood for you to understand understand what is happening you know is high you know so it is important pride is important big dance any type of music conference anything like that which brings awareness to what's happening is important it's always going to be important awareness is important well i got you here are you aware of the uh, rave act down in uh, the states that they're putting in place yeah i have i've heard about it and I think it's poo. <laughs> you think it's poo? Okay. No comments on that. No, well, you know what, 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 what can you do? You know, again, you're, you know what, there's, there's a whole bunch of things you could say. I mean, the first thing, the obvious thing that someone wants to say, well, it's the drugs. You know, everyone's going out and getting so messed up and, you know, and you could also say that, you know, the government's pissed off because they're not selling as much liquor as they could. You could also say that you've got a rock industry that's pissed off because they've got to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to promote a big concert. And meanwhile, some guy puts out a flyer with five or six DJ names and he gets the same amount of people at his, you know, at his warehouse party that they had at the concert. You're dealing with a whole bunch of different politics all at the same time. It's not one thing. It's a combination of all the things. And people have a tough time grasping what's going on. And you've got a lot of people who are jaded. You know, we talk about change and people, they don't want to accept change. Oh man, it sucks now. Does it? Do you suck now maybe? You know, how about that? Maybe it's possible that you suck. Maybe your energy has faded. Maybe you're not involved as much as you thought you were. And that's cool too. All of it's cool. You know, it's going to be up to the user to decide what they want to do with the environment that they're, they're getting involved in. You know, and it's, and it's never going to be the same. You know, and some people, you know, the average person that goes out, you know, only goes out for about two years. After that, they don't want to go out anymore. Maybe they burn out. Maybe they get bored. Maybe their ears hurt. Who knows? And uh, do you have a website that you, people yeah, can sure, keep in sure. line? Sure, please, please visit it. I've got a couple of websites I could tell you guys about. You know, as far as music is concerned, you can you can buy you can buy some of my tracks. They're only a buck. They're online in wicked MP3 audio uh, on a website that's run by Richie Houghton and John Aquaviva. It's called Beatport.com. Yes, very good. Okay, and 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 actually, it's opened up my tracks. I mean, Richie Richie Houghton was playing the playing the hell out of a lot of my music, and I mean, and he didn't know about my stuff, even though we're from the same country. He didn't know about my stuff until he went to the website and saw and then you know did a little bit of search and then sent me a mail and went hey listen I like what you're doing I'm playing it and I'm like I'm reading the mail I'm like cool Richie Hans playing my music um, you know uh, also visit visit websites Canadian websites for Canadian record labels that are wicked uh, uh, bugeyedrecords.com and twowars.com the number two and wars.com all one word and don't forget my website too my website's got all kinds of stuff on it djjello.com jello's got only one L also I'm not like the general mills food I'm, it's my initials J E L. Hello, it's where the name come from. Um, but there's there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, it really just depends on what kind of level you want to get you want to get involved. And you know, particularly if you're online and you're sitting around and you're on your computer, you can find so much stuff. More stuff than you can shake a glow stick at is out there. And it just depends on what kind of level of involvement you want. But if you're listening to this and you love what you're listening to and you go out, seek it out. Seek it out. It's there for you. And yeah, HMV. Some of their stuff is expensive. You can grab two two different mix CDs that I've done. They're also available at HMV. Go buy them, please. I love you. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff. Just, you know, do a little bit of legwork and you can rock on it. Thank you very much. It's been uh, very Thank informing. Thank you. Uh, just quickly, if you want to do uh, a little, hey, this is Jello, and you're listening to Amplified Radio. Okay, my voice is a little shot, but let's, we'll give it a, we'll give it, I guess, yelling and screaming at people out there. All right. All right. So, uh, <coughs> all right. What's up? This is Jello, and you're listening to Amplified Radio. Do not touch that dial. Awesome. Perfect.